Hello, it's Faye here from Northern Red Fitness coming at you from the comfort of my living room this evening. It is a blistery evening here in the Okanagan. I am going to just add into the comments here our little parquet form. So if you've not gone through that at all, feel free to uh, take a gander. Make sure that you are healthy and ready for exercise. Tonight is going to be a yoga for flexibility. And this was one of my most popular classes when I was teaching at the gym. It is a fabulous class for anybody just looking to get into their yoga practice. And I am super thankful that you are all joining me this evening. So I'll just wait a quick moment, make sure everybody is signed on, that is coming on. I'm going to just be on my mat. So if you want to grab a bolster or some blocks, absolutely you can. We're going to start seated. So right leg in front of the left, nice and even on those sit bones. So just pulling out any flesh away from the sit bones there. Hands over the knees, drawing the shoulders up, back and down, and just enjoying that tall seat for a moment. Lots of space between the ears and the shoulders, closing the eyes and just following that breath. Notice our inhales. And the exhales. Inhale, filling the belly through the ribs all the way up to the top of the lung. Exhaling all the way out. Inhale, big deep breaths, feeling the spine lengthen. And then exhale, gently releasing any tension from the shoulders. Inhale, this time reach the chest up and lift up through the chin. Exhale, rounding through the back, tuck the chin, breathing all that air out. Squeeze the belly button to the spine. Inhale, opening up and lengthening, shoulders draw back. And exhale. Big inhale, filling all the way up, taking in as much breath as you can. And exhale, rounding through the spine, tucking the chin. Inhale up to a nice tall spine, neutral. Exhale, sweeping the chest forward, down past one knee, all the way across to the other side. And inhale up. Switching directions here, following the cadence of your own breath. Big inhales. Slow exhales. Holding any position that might need just a little bit more attention. Last pass through. Coming up to a nice tall seat. Exhale, rolling out through the shoulders. Beautiful. We're going to take that right leg and just to grab a hold of either your big toe with your peace fingers here, or you can grab the inside of your foot. And we're just going to press the heel out. So this will look a little bit different for everyone. We want a nice tall spine, first and foremost, ears, shoulders, hips, and line. You may be able to outstretch that leg, pressing through the heel or you may keep a bend in the knee. Looking to lengthen through the back of that leg, sitting tall, shoulders down and back. Slow, deep breaths. Every exhale, maybe that leg gets a little bit longer. Relax through the shoulders.
On an exhale, we're going to lengthen that leg and place it down on the floor. So our right leg is directly in front of the hip. Left foot is tucked in as tight as you feel comfortable. Shoulders facing out towards that foot. Even on those sit bones, making sure all that flesh is pulled out. We're nice and tall. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, reaching forward with the belly button first. And then the hands to maybe the thigh, the shin. Neutral spine, so keeping the ears and the shoulders in line. Avoid trying to round the back and bring the forehead to the leg. It's more bringing the belly button towards the thigh. Every exhale creates a little bit more space to come in just a bit deeper. Inhale, softly rising up. Rolling up through the shoulders and we're going to take the left leg and cross it over the right now. So just sole of the feet down. If it's in your practice, you can bend your right foot and tuck it back to the glutes, but I'm gonna keep my right leg extended for tonight. Hand onto the left knee, left hand comes in behind, big breath up and let's come into our twist. Opening through the collarbone. Exhale completely. Every exhale gives us just a little bit more space. Big breaths. And on an exhale, gently come out of that twist. Rolling up through the shoulders, extend the left leg. Tuck the right leg in and we're gonna grab a hold of either the foot or with the peace fingers, you can grab a hold of the big toe. We're going to lift that leg up. Maybe it stays bent. Maybe you can extend that leg a little bit more. Think about lengthening through the spine. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Opening up through the back of the leg. Slow, deep breath. On an exhale, we bring that leg down, lengthening, rolling out through the shoulders, making sure we're safe on those sit bones, right foot is tucked into the left, big inhale, reaching up. Exhale, reaching that belly button down towards the leg, hands on the thighs, the shin, maybe the foot. Belly button comes as tight as we can. Shoulders relax from the ears, lengthening through the spine. Every exhale gives us a little bit more space. Try to keep the shoulders even, reach the belly button towards the thigh, one more big inhale. Exhaling completely. Inhale, rising up, rolling up through those shoulders. Taking the right foot now and crossing it over the left. Left hand over the right knee, right hand comes in behind, big inhale and twist. Opening up through the collarbone. Lengthening. Drawing the shoulders back. Exhale. 
Every exhale gives us just a little bit more space. And on an exhale, we'll come out of that twist, rolling up through the shoulders and extending both legs out in front. Now, if the dog would move her behind, sit down. That's good. Come here. Big inhale, reaching up. Exhale, let's fold all the way forward here. Lengthen through that spine, reaching the belly button first down towards the thigh. Hands on the thighs, the shin, maybe the foot. Chest forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Still practicing that big belly breath up. Feel the spine lengthen. And exhale completely. Big inhale. And as we exhale, let's relax the spine. Try to bring the forehead down. Notice the change and where that pull draws from. Slow, deep breaths. Inhale, gently rising up when you're ready. Rolling up through the shoulders. And we're gonna lay right back on the mat. Bringing the knees into the chest. And hugging at the shins and just rocking softly side to side. Relaxing the shoulders. When you're ready, come into center and extend the left leg all the way down. Drawing that right knee up and into the shoulders. Try to press the left leg all the way into the mat. Keep the spine and both shoulders pressed into the mat. As you draw your knee up and into your right shoulder. Think about your breath, every inhale grows space. So when we exhale, there's just a little bit more room to bring that knee even tighter towards the shoulder. Gently allow that right knee to fall open to the right side. Right hand on the right leg, left hand supports the left hip, keeping the entire left side of the body pressed into the mat. Slowly allowing gravity to pull the right leg closer to the floor. Maybe supporting that leg with a bolster, a block. On your next inhale, we gently bring the right leg back through center. Take a hold of it with the left arm and draw it across the body. Right shoulder stays on the mat as you allow the right leg to fall to the left side. Perhaps turning the head to the right side if that feels like it's part of your wheelhouse tonight. You can support the right leg with a block or a bolster or just allow gravity to pull that leg down. Again, gently melting into that twist. On 
on your next inhale, drawing back up into center. Both knees come in tight to the chest. Just hugging in tight here for a moment, allowing the hips to reset. And then softly lowering the right leg when you're ready. Down to the floor, pressing the back of the right leg into the floor, ensuring the spine and the shoulders are pressed into the floor as you draw the left knee into your shoulder. Every exhale, creating that space. Relaxing the shoulders into the mat. Softly, when you're ready, allow that left knee to fall open at the left side of the body. Right hand over the right hip, supporting. Shoulders stay firm on the mat. Right side of the body stays firm on the mat. Slow, deep breaths. Allowing gravity just to draw that leg down a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, big inhale, coming back in and across. Take a hold of the left leg with the right hand and slowly allow that leg just to softly melt all the way over towards the right side, keeping the shoulder on the left side, into the mat, maybe turning the head, creating space for that twist. Big belly breaths. When you're ready, gently bringing it back in the center. Knees bent, but feet on the floor this time. And just allow the knees to drop side to side at your own pace. Again, resetting the hips and the low back. Back in the center, relaxing the spine into the mat. We can extend the legs completely, coming into Savasana, laying all the way down, hands either over the belly or down to the side. Palms up or down, soften through the shoulders. Exaggerate those breaths, inhaling all the way up, taking in as much air as you can. And then exhale completely. Inhale. And exhale. One 
more big inhale, taking in all the breath that you can. Hold that breath for a moment. And exhale completely. Squeeze the belly button into the spine. Hold it at the bottom. And gently return for an easy breath. And you're ready, draw the knees up into the chest, hugging in tight, bringing the chin, the forehead to the knees, big hug, and softly rolling onto your right side, using your right hand to support the head. Take a moment just to be thankful for your body, for its ability. And you're ready, use your left hand to press your way up. Coming into a nice tall seat once again. Even through those sit bones, shoulders roll back. Bringing the hands into heart center. I'd like to thank you all for joining me in our practice, for allowing me into your space and into your yoga practice. Any questions or comments, please do leave them below. Otherwise, I wish you a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you again for joining. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, like, save, share this video so you can come back and find it uh, soon. Thank you.